Um, I, I heard you talking about the ideal of a system of a political meritocracy before, but I think the last time, I mean, it was m much of these talks were 10 years ago, so I was wondering what do you think nowadays um, with, in the West, I think many perceive the increased centralization and the uh, uh, reduction of checks and balances and the party is ultimately behind the law. You know, where are the checks and balances there that we may not see? Um, and do you think if there are no checks and balances, how can that be squared with the system of political meritocracy going forward? Um, meritocracy and the ideas of meritocracy and checks and balances are two different things. Meritocracy simply means that capable people become leaders instead of the two we're looking at in America. Okay, the 80 year olds. Yeah. So, so we, that's, that's, that's the simple idea. Do capable people become leaders? That's what meritocracy means. Checks and balance, that's a totally different idea. Check and, checks and balance, I think, is what's ailing America and Europe and liberal democracies. Francis Fukuyama calls it vitocracy. Checks and balances are captured by special interests, and they capture the state. And vitocracy means that every interest group is strong enough to veto any political initiatives that are against their interests. But nobody could initiate and do something positive, and you get stuck. That's what checks and balances carry to the extreme do to your countries. We run that risk too. You know, our system runs that risk too. So, so we swing between you know, more centralized power and more distributed power. We in, in the history of the People's Republic, we swing between these two. But luckily, hopefully, you know, gradually, not too drastic, like, like you know, we had disasters like Cultural Revolution. You know? um, but, but we survived that. <laughs> so now we're in a period where you know, I personally think stronger leadership is called for to engineer the economic transition because there are a lot of vested in real estate. How do you, how do you burst up a real estate problem? We've known the problem for many, many years, but there are too many special interests. Corruption. Too many. Too many checks and balances lead to more corruption, potentially, because nobody could, <laughs> eh? Um, so we need stronger leadership to correct the three major problems that we talked about. Uh, and as you know, we face tremendous geopolitical risks. So all of these things call for stronger leadership, I believe. That's my personal view. People, some people don't agree with me. Yeah. Um, there could be a time, circumstances change, that we need more distributed power. That's possible too, but it's not now. 